Okay, in Victoria, late November, heading towards December, starting to get hot, uh, very hot. Heat wave apparently about to hit southeast Australia. Uh, meanwhile, back here, uh, turn three. Now, it's going to be split in two a bit in the same way that the Toronto, 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 where did I get Toronto from? A bit in the way that Toronto was handled, uh, arguably could have been tacked on to the end uh, of turn one. Uh, so I had a turn one A and one B. Uh, this is going to be turn th three, turn three A and three B. We're roughly covering the period um, from uh, June, July, 1940, up to and including December, 41. Uh, so let's split it in two, 3A, 3B, the Pearl Harbor Raid and the Pacific will be 3B. Uh, over here in the Pacific, the British have had to place a cruiser and two battleship types in Indonesia. If they didn't, um, that was going to remove Allied control of Indonesia on turn one, which meant the Japanese would have been able to raid into the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean on turn one. Uh, fortunately, as I said on the last video, the historic ships are still around, so I've put them in their historic positions for the start of victory in the Pacific game. Uh, Canberra and Australia will go into the Indian Ocean and the Cornwall and the Shropshire will go into the Bay of Bengal. Now at the end of this turn, Australia and Canberra will go back to, or turn 3A will go back to Australia. Cornwall and Shropshire will go back to the um, Ceylon. Uh, and then in effect, we'll start the VITP game for turn 2B. Now over here in the Atlantic, we've got some interesting situations. The Tiger Convoy has moved into the Mediterranean. Uh, the Germans have still got the Lutzow down there in uh, the neutral. Uh, Tirpitz has thankfully joined the German fleet, though their reinforcement of one U-boat, thanks to the catastrophic turn two, instead of having anything up to five U-boats, they've only got the one, and they've lost all three of their raiders, so some interesting choices to come there. Uh, the British, yes, they lost a few ships to the Pacific Theatre, but they've been reinforced by the Victorious and the Duke of York. And uh, also coming from America this turn, I don't know what's happened with the light just there, got a bit funny. Um, Convoy 1A has entered the fray. They've gone really dark blue. They're not that dark in real life. And anyway, uh, with the potential of doing, doing neutrality patrols, we've got Ranger, New York, Texas, Arkansas, Augusta, Tuscaloosa and Wichita. Now, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with those uh, in the sense that all of those ships, except I believe the Arkansas and the Ranger, appear in the Victory in the Pacific uh, orders of battle. So I'm going to be, have to be careful to make sure I don't double up on American ships. Um, just quickly, a couple of quick points about last turn. Um, one mistake I, I definitely did make reviewing the footage, you'll notice I um, had the war spite in the second round of surface combat. I said it had uh, critical hits and I made it roll. Now, fortunately, it rolled a four, which meant it could fire all its guns anyway. Now, in fact, 
the hit that turned it into having a critical damage, which is three hits, actually occurred on that very round. So by rights, um, combat is simultaneous. So by rights, the war spot should not have had to have made that um, critical damage roll. But as it turned out, it rolled a four anyway. So no great drama. Uh, just on the tactical front, uh, again with hindsight, down here in the South Atlantic Ocean, uh, or even if I decided to go up to the North Atlantic, but probably the South Atlantic, I should have put all four U-boats uh, down in the South Atlantic. Um, I maybe had three of them as raiders to try and get a shot at the Tiger Convoy, which is now looming ominously. <laughs> Uh, and one patroller. Uh, but anyway, you know, uh, we're all genii with hindsight, aren't we? Anyway, let's get on with turn 3A. Let's see what the Allies do first. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so standard procedure over here in the Mediterranean, Cornwall and Shropshire into the Bay of Bengal, two Australian cruisers into the Indian Ocean. Down in the Mediterranean, I've sent uh, one more uh, cruiser to try and help cover the Tiger convoy. Um, not too worried, I'm aware, unfortunately, the Germans only have one U-boat. Well, here alone, we've got six um, anti-submarine warfare die rolls plus you know, all the rest here. And the convoy actually adds another three, so not too worried about the U-boats. Uh, here in the South Atlantic, um, poor old Argus, simply there for its anti-submarine warfare capability, really. Um, home fleet, I've put Victorious and Duke of York. Uh, on the home fleet pool. Now Duke of York will have to roll. Uh, when it comes out as part of the home fleet, it won't want a six. Uh, otherwise it doesn't get there in time. That's been the case for all the home fleet actions. Uh, so if, I think I've mostly had them as sevens anyway. I think this is the first time I've had them as a six. Uh, yeah, just thinking that... Uh, given that uh, I'm making ships that fail their uh, speed rolls to a second area now, instead of having to go to port, they become raiders. Uh, might be worth looking at the variant that reduces a lot the speed on a lot of the um, newer British ships uh, from a six to a five, and even the hood from a seven to a five. Oh, 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 sorry, Alex. I just heard thunder. Someone up in heaven isn't happy. Oh, dear. Uh, no, so I've repaired. Now, England only has eight points of repairing, so I've taken, I'm fully repairing the King George and the Hood. That was six points. And I'm reducing the damage on the Rodney to a two. Now, given that there's quite a few German ships still damaged, I'm going to keep those in port along with a war spot that's, you know, it's got critical damage anyway. Uh, now, unfortunately for the Allies up here in the North Atlantic, every single one of those American ships, seven of them, not one of them rolled a six, so none of them are doing neut neutrality patrols. Um, now a bit of a gamble. Uh, I've only got the carrier, the battleship, and two cruisers there. I'm just thinking, oh dear, I might have made a mistake there. Um, but anyway, tough cheese, I've done it now. Um, that might even tempt, with the uh, turpits coming out, that might tempt the Germans to go for a whack in the North Atlantic. Anyway, we shall see. Uh, turn three. Now, the Russians come on too, which I've just realised I haven't put on the table. Uh, we shall pause the video and do so. Okay, so as you can see there, we've got the 
October Revolution. I'm not even going to try the Russian. Uh, Marat, Mac, Mac, Maxim Gorky and Kirov, the two heavy cruisers. Uh, they're just like the Italians. They have to roll. They come out on a four to a six. Uh, let's do that now and see what happens. Um, the battleships are exactly the same. So there's two of them. Yep. All right. One come out. The other one didn't. Sorry about my arm. And the two cruisers. One come out, one didn't. All right. Uh, given that I'm trying to discourage the Germans herbing over into the North Atlantic, I'm going to take a punt and I'm going to put those two Russian ships out to sea. All right, let's have a think about a German response. Okay, so we're going to play conservative as the Germans, as the Kriegsmarine. Now, Germany has got eight repair points, which enables me to repair all of the Scharnhorst, Bismarck and Neisenau. So next turn, look out, Brits. I've put both the two old battleships up in the Barents Sea, just to secure two points for the Germans. Here in the Baltic, uh, we've put two lots of air force. Uh, if they don't manage to scare off the Russians, we've got Bismarck and Prince Eugen. Uh, over here, and the Bay of Bengal, um, taking a punt with my last U-boat. Uh, surely, surely it's not going to get sunk but again by two single cruisers, which will be two die rolls. Uh, now up here in the North Atlantic, I have put the Lutzow out uh, as a raider. This is the last turn it can do it. Um, I figure its odds are pretty good. On a roll of one to four, it will block uh, control of that uh, North Atlantic. On a five, it can only be attacked by the two cruisers. And if it rolls a six, oh dear, oh well. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the Italians. Wow. Four to six to sail. One to... Uh, one to three, they don't sail. Okay, wow, I said the Italians were back at full strength and look at that, needing die rolls of four to six to sail and one to three meant they would be home at port, in other words, a 50-50. On a turn when the Mediterranean is worth double points, now the two air groups just come out naturally and look at that, only two failed their speed rolls. Uh, so in the words of the prophet, it's on in the Mediterranean on a turn when there's double pock. This is going to be uh, Titanic. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's start with the anti-submarine warfare. Over here in Bay of Bengal, the two cruisers. Let's just see how that U-boat goes. It's patrolling. British want six. Uh, and the luck is um, on the side of the Germans. Uh, so the U boat blocks the British from getting a point of control there. Well, the Germans are firing at the merchant ships looking for a six. If they get a six, they score a point of control. Nope. Okay, so no joy there. Now that's the only anti-submarine warfare. Let's quickly have a look over here in the North Atlantic. Uh, the British are hunting for the Lutzow. The Lutzow is raiding merchants. Uh, the British want preferably a six, maybe a five would suffice. They've got a five. Okay, decision time for the British. That means it's only been located by the two cruisers. Hmm. Yeah, all right, let's go for it. So, two cruisers firing two shots, no bonus. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Dear, oh dear. Now, I didn't roll for a surface or air action there because no one, the forces involved, there's no point. There's, you, you can't keep stalling the inevitable by asking for a air action. All right. Berwick and Kent both scored hits on the Lutzow. Um, let's see how we go. The Lutzow wants both of these damaged dice, neither to be more than two. Uh, so it's two points of damage. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the swings and roundabouts, eh? All right, now the Lutzow fires back two with a bonus. It can't split its fire. Um, so let's shoot at the Kent. Uh, we're looking for anything from four or above, okay, because this... This turn, it's firing with the bonus. <laughs> oh, I think Admiral Raider's just resigned. Okay, so that's down to a speed of three. Because two from five is three. And all of a sudden, that can catch. And that can catch. Oh dear. So uh, the British I don't suppose it really matters if they go for an air action, they'll only get a, a one. Uh, uh all right, yeah, we might as well just go for surface. Now the Lutzow trying to run away. It will obviously try and escape, but it's a da it's only down to three, so it can be chased by all of these. Um, all right, so the Lutzow is praising, praying that the British are going to have six shots at it, and they're praying that uh, the British will get nothing larger than a five. In fact, the best thing that could happen for the Lutzow is getting a, a five on it, which means disabling it back to um, Germany. But it's not looking good. Okay, five shots. Oh, no, boom, there we go. Um, that's going to be sunk. I must say, these British cruisers, nasty pieces of work. Right, and it's final parting salvo. No bonus because it's damaged. Uh, yeah, Royal Sovereign. If it got two hits and then rolled two fives or sixes, that would be enough to sink it. It's got one hit, so it's not going to sink it, but at least it's going to do some damage on the way out. Oh, three points of damage, so it's at least it's critically... Critically injured. Well, unfortunately, glug, glug, glug. Another German ship bites the dust. <laughs> okay. All right, so. That's going to leave the British in control there. Um, that convoy is going to come in and score a pock. Okay, oh, all right. Uh, as long as we're on a roll over here. Now the Germans will want an air action. The Russians will want a surface action. Let's go up here. Um, Russians get plus one for surface. Germans plus one for air. So it's a straight die roll. So Russians first. Five. Germans. One. Okay, so it's going to be a surface action. Okay, so... Yeah, it be something like... So... All right, so 
Shepherds, four die with a bonus. Oh, the Russian ship is certainly disabled. We've got one hit. Um, it's disabled with three points of damage. So the mighty Tirpitz is holding up its end of the bargain. Okay, uh, one shot with a bonus from the Prince Eugen at the Maxim Gorski. Nothing. All right, coming back. Uh, three with no bonus from the Maxim Gorky to the Tirpitz. Oh, well, got it disabled. And one without bonus uh, from the Maxim Gorky to the Prince Organ. I'll re-roll that again. I should have, should have, uh, not because it rolled a five, but which would have lent the Russians in control of the Barons, but I had the other dice in there, so I really should. One, no joy. Okay. Okay, forgive me folks, but I, reviewing the footage, I realised I'd made a complete hash of the vital uh, combat down in the Mediterranean which is worth double points this turn. Mm -hmm. So I thought, right, scrap it and let's just do the whole thing again. Okay. Um, so looking at the forces here, obviously the Italians have an advantage in surface fleet. Uh, looks like the Allies have an advantage in air power. Uh, now the Allies did control the Mediterranean last turn. Uh, so they will get plus one for that. The Italians, though, will get plus one. They're going to go for a surface action. So let's see what happens. I'm sorry about the light, etc., but I just I've got to get this done due to other pressures, life pressures. Okay, first off the Italians, so it's a straight die roll, both sides getting plus one. So that's a four for the Italians, or a net four. Six for the British, so it's going to be, it's going to be an air round. Okay, well the, the thing the Italians most want to get rid of is that convoy. So we're going to have four shots at the Tiger convoy. Um, now, I think, I think we've got to have a couple of goes at those two largest battleships. Perhaps hope for a five to send them back to base. And Ark Royal, six of one, half a dozen of another, three shots at the Luftwaffe, three there. Okay, so air action. Uh, let's do the axis first. We've got four shots coming in at the Tiger Convoy. Uh, we're looking for sixes or a five. We'll disable it. It will send it back to uh, Gibraltar. Okay, so we've got a hit. So we're not going to disable it. Now, each point of damage, if it... If the Tiger Convoy had made it undamaged to Malta, it would have got three points of control. Um, it's the British desperately getting supplies through to Malta and to, through to Egypt at the time when the Africa Corps is storming across the North African desert. So as I say, if they'd got it there undamaged, they would have got three points. Um, they'll get a minimum of one, but for each damage point, um, so in other words, if the Germans roll five or six, get one hit, the Tiger will only score two points, etc., etc. Um, three and four, okay, uh, would get them down to uh, 
one point. So here we go. The damage roll. Oh, good stuff. So that's three points of damage on the Tiger Convoy. Now that means that even if the Tiger Convoy gets survives and gets to Malta, it's only going to earn the British one point of control. Okay, Ark Royal firing at the Luftwaffe 3. Now they need sixes. You can't disable um, land based stair. Unfortunately, nothing there. So a bit of a waste. Uh, two on the Fur from the Furious onto the Vittorio Veneto. Gets a hit. Roll for damage. Okay, so that's two points of damage. And then two on the Latorio. Sorry, excuse my arm. Nothing. Okay. All right, so bring all the aircraft back to their various positions. Okay. We have another round. Uh, once again, it's going to be evens because the Italians still want surface action. They get plus one. The British want a air action, uh, but they controlled the Mediterranean last turn, so they get plus one. So the Italians score a five. The British, oop, one. Okay. So surface action it is. Sometimes my camera will let me zoom in closer and other times it won't. This is one of these times it won't, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, now, Vittorio has got two damage, so it's not critically damaged, so it gets all four shots at the Malaya. And we've got a hit and a disable. We re-roll for the hit. That's two points of damage. And a disable on the Malaya. As I've said before, surface combat is uh, simultaneous, or all combat really is simultaneous. So, uh, okay. Latorio, four shots at the Valiant. Nothing. Andrea Doria and the Trieste, four shots at the Barham. So we've got a disable. And we've got one hit there. So the five is a disable, the six is the hit. We re-roll for the hit. Four, halved, rounded up, is two. Okay, we've now got Teo Duillo and the Fume. Four shots at the Ramillies. And a Disable. Uh, three shots from the Conti di Cavour onto the London. Get that dice out the way. Nothing. And two shots, one from the Garizia, one from the Trento, onto the Cumberland. That's a hit. Excuse my arm again, sorry. Reroll or roll for damage. Anything greater than a two and the Cumberland will be sunk. And it is. So a four, hard, but frack, uh, and then rounded up with two damage. As you can see, the Cumberland can only take one point of damage. So bear with me. So the Cumberland is sunk. Now, of course, it still gets to shoot because combat is simultaneous. Okay, so four from the Malaya 
onto the Vittorio Veneto. Nothing. Uh, four from the Valiant onto the Latorio. Mm, also nothing. Uh, four from the Barum onto the Andrea Doria. A hit and a disable. Just leave that over there for the moment. That's definitely disabled, the Andrea Doria. And then for the damage, three points of damage. Um, yeah, Andrea Doria, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Ramillies. Four shots at the Ko Duillo. Disabled. No damage, but it will have to go back to base. And then, yep, sorry about that. And then, uh, one shot from the London on the Conti di Cavour. That's a hit. Mm, only one point of damage. And one from the Cumberland, oh, probably onto the Trento there, straight in front, nothing. Okay, so let's review this. Okay, um, so the KO Duello, that was disabled. So that has to go back to port. No damage, but it has to go back to port. Uh, the... Andrea Doria, also disabled. It goes back to port with three damage, which probably isn't a bad, bad move for it because three points of damage, um, that's critical damage. Okay, so let's just move that up for the time being. We'll work all this out in a minute. Now the Cumberland, poor old Cumberland, sunk. Uh, the Ramillies, disabled, so it goes back to Malta, undamaged, but it's got to go back to Malta. I'll pop that down there for the minute, sorry about that. Uh, Barham, damaged, two points, and disabled, it has to go back to Malta. And likewise, Malaya, two points of damage, disabled, must go back to Malta. Okay. Um, now that was a surface action. So the land-based air had to go back to base. Which leaves us, sorry folks, that leaves us with this situation. Now, dramatically outnumbered, but as you can see, um, the British really got no choice except to fight on. Now they'll be wanting an air. The Italians will want a surface. Now the Italians still can't get at the carriers uh, or the Tiger convoy because all the other British ships aren't, um, aren't damaged. Or if there were no other British ships, then yes, these guys could get stuck into these. Um, so it's looking a bit grim for the, for the British. Uh, okay, so the British will want air. The Italians will want surface. The British, plus one is two. The Italians, plus one is six. So it's all, all surface action here. Uh, 
Okay, a bit unfortunate. The Now, none of the Italian ships are damaged enough to force them to take a critical damage roll, so it's going to be 11 shots at the Valiant. And we'll trust our luck with four shots on the London. So let's go with the 11 shots first. So that's one hit. Two hits. So two hits, no disables, two hits on the Valiant. Could be trouble though. So that's two, half and round it up. So two and one is three. So next round, the Valiant was critically damaged. Not, not yet, it will still fire back, but Okay, now we've got four on the London. Two hits. Not looking good. Yeah. I'll re-roll that one. Oh, well, it's not going to matter because four hard and round it up is two, so the London is going to be sunk. Uh-oh. It's going to mean big trouble for those British carriers. Uh, okay, Valiant. Um, let's see if we can't take someone with us. Let's try and knock out the Victorio. Do I want to go for one of these? No. Uh, actually, let's go the Latorio because I'm thinking that if these guys try and retreat... If I can damage the Latorio, it won't be able to catch them. Okay, so four dice at the Latorio. Ooh, three hits. The Valiant may be, uh, may be doing some real damage here. Okay, so three plus two plus two is seven. So ye old Latorio just blew up. That'll teach you. Uh, now the London, probably one shot at, say, the Trieste again. Nothing. Okay. So what have we got happening here? So the Valiant has to go back to Malta with three points of damage. The London is sunk. The Latorio is sunk. Oh, sorry. Okay. So with two damage on the Victorio Veneto, it's down to a three. Uh, sorry, down to a four speed. One point of damage on the Conti di, Conti di Cavour takes it to a four. Uh, and these guys are in top shape. Now, if the British now retreat, it would be a case of them Convoy's only got a speed of one, so it's probably best if they retreat as a separate group. The Italians, as long as they're on a roll, they might as well try and pursue the carrier group with these four and pursue the uh, Tiger Convoy. Um, with these two ships, because its tiger's reduced to a speed of one. It's in a world of hurt. Okay. Um, all right, well, that's got to be a surface action. There's no way around it. I'm 
unfortunately. So what's that? Seven shots at the Tiger Convoy. Tiger is praying for nothing better than a five. In fact, it would like a five from the Italians, but no sixes. No. So unfortunately, the Tiger Convoy has been caught and sunk. It's destroyer escort represented by the one. Um, let's have a go at the Conti di Cavour. No, nothing. Okay, so Tiger Convoy sunk. Um, now here, Italians want surface. British want air, still even die rolls, both sides getting a plus one. So Italians, plus one. Oh, I was going to definitely be at least one surface round. The um, British, four plus one is five, isn't going to be enough. Uh, so we'll have two shots at the Ark Royal. Mark Royal, of course, hoping for a five from the Italians. Nope. And two shots at the Furious. Ah, disabled. So the few I won't bother putting a disabled marker. So the Furious actually, in effect, escapes and heads back to Malta. Well, the only bad news is now we've got four under three. I guess the Italians would keep going in this situation. Um, so once again, Italians um, wanting a surface, British wanting an air. Um, so Italians, four plus one is five. The British, five plus one is six. Okay, so it's going to be an air action. So the Arc Royal is going to roll three dice. say the Trieste over the back there. Disabled it. So it's sent back to Italy. Okay, Italians, what are you going to do? You're going to keep going? I guess they would. We've got the speed. Okay, so Italians, surface. Uh, five plus one is six. The British... Right, so three shots at the Arc Royal. And what we want is, from the British point of view, is a five in here and no hits. Now, got one hit. Roll again. Two becomes a one. All right. Okay, one more, one more go and then uh, I won't bore you with the, the constant die rolls. Um, so that speeds down to a six. So two plus one is three for the Italians. Five plus one is six for the British. Now, the Arc Royal is damaged. Um, oh, actually, I'm forgetting something here. The... Um, The British Armoured Aircraft Carrier, um, you always take off one hit, so you can only only ever get two or one hit on the aircraft carrier. So, sorry, I was forgetting that. Um, it's to represent the armoured flight decks. So, in fact, that damage there shouldn't apply. Um, so, in fact, the Ark Royal can fire. Um, let's go the Trento. Three dice. Nothing. Yeah, for the sake of the game at this point, I will just say that the uh, Italians have given up. They've already lost one cruiser and they're a bit worried about any more hits. So they let the Ark Royal go back to Malta. And the Italians are in charge of the Mediterranean. All right, let's check the POC. Okay. Well, that uh, victory by the Italians in the Mediterranean puts a whole different complexion on the game. Uh, now, we saw that the British control the Indian Ocean, uh, but they don't get any points for it. The surviving U-boat blocked 
the British controlling the Bay of Bengal. So I'd already, well, it doesn't matter, I'll leave that like so. I'd already started the, uh, I've started setting up for the uh, Pearl Harbour Road, as you can see over there, the Victory in the Pacific. I'm starting to get things ready over there. Anyway. Okay, so anyway, the point is there's, uh, the British don't get anything for the Bay of Bengal. Uh, they do control the South Atlantic, the North Atlantic and the North Sea, so they get three points. The Germans control the Baltic and the Barents, uh, so they get three points. So dead level, but the kicker, the Mediterranean down here, in Richard Hamblin's um, variant for the axis to represent how port important it was uh, get three points and this turn was double so the axis actually get six points of control for controlling the Mediterranean so if we ease our way up to here again sorry for the light uh, you can see that the Allies were one point in front at the end of turn two. Uh, at the end of turn three A, it's going to be six towards the axis, which means the axis are five points of control in the European theatre. Sorry, excuse my arm. At the end of turn what I'm calling 3A because as I said we're about to do the um, 3B will be the commencement of the victory in the Pacific game. Uh, thereafter um, turn 4 uh, and turn 2 of uh, or turn 4 of um, War at Sea and turn 2 of victory in the Pacific. From there on in the two games will play um, at the same time. Okay, that's enough for today.